but we also had that added pressure. Every time! Let's go! Well, you know I love to chit chat, and there's a midnight chill. We got all this body heat in. I'm Jack Bowling. Brian Slack, Helen Smith. Lay in the sweet grass, cuddle up tight, send every single one of your troubles. Uh, I'm a sophomore at ASA College, and uh, I'm from Laredo, Texas. This is my second uh, season at ASA on the men's tennis team. I've been uh, with ASA for three years now. Um, Preparation-wise, I mean, it was just um, leading up to, we were indoors and outdoors at the U.S. Open, um, trying to prepare, you know, prepare as well as we could outdoors there in the, you know, 55 degree weather. Ryan's a really, really good coach. We did a lot of physical training. We did a lot of practice together at the U.S. Open and training pretty much every day. When the right time is, we drop all our and every, you know, everyone is looking to take us out. So when they come up against us, we knew everybody was just going to be playing with nothing to lose. And sometimes, you know, that's scary to face. But I, we, we knew coming in we'd be the favorite, but it, it wouldn't be handed to us. We knew we'd have to go out there and, uh, you know, make it art. Uh, I mean, this this week's been amazing. Uh, I mean, to, to to back up last week with the women and then come out this week with the men, and really uh, kind of take charge from the beginning um, was a little bit different than last year. Like last year, coming in, the the goal was to take out Tyler, take their number one spot because they were the defending champions, and so it was. We could kind of come in a little bit under the radar, so to speak. But it was definitely a different, you know, sensation. And this year, it, I'm a sophomore, so I was more in the the role of leading the guys, you know, trying to explain to the freshmen what it's like. And uh, no, it's definitely a different. Uh, it's a little bit more pressure. I would. You might. But only if. I play my cards right, but you know I love to chit chat. And there's a midnight chill. We got all this body heat in, and time to kill. Why do we play in the sweet grass? Cuddle up tight, send every single one of your troubles into the night. Um, I prepared by myself, I was just like being really healthy trying to eat well, um, you know, occasionally go on a few runs and stuff, but the build-up and the preparation to the tournament was really, really good. I felt like we dealt with it well and uh, we came out on top again. Why do we play in the sweet grass? Cuddle up tight, send every single one of your troubles into the night. We fit together, just you, me, and the moon. You be my baby, I'll be the big spoon. Me too, it's up to 
to your discretion when the right time is to drop all our defenses, baby. One, two, three. Yes! Yeah! And uh, of course, President Alex Chagall and and his wife Ala, um, you know, all the trickles all the way down. You know, academic advisors, um, everybody in the athletic admissions, everybody in the athletic department, uh, Ken Wilcox, Steve Burnap, um, you, Tim, um, you know, and you know, coaches and everything. I mean, everybody stayed in good contact throughout the last two weeks, and you know, supported us and you know, gave us. You know, words of encouragement and just make sure that we keep tracking on and, and doing what we're doing. So it um, goes from the top all the way down to the bottom and it's been a blast to be a part of. From the bottom, but I made it on my own. Now I'm on all these unknown numbers calling up my phone. But I keep it silent like words when you hear the G's go. Flyers and the rest like this is ego music, though.